and welcome to the 2015 edition of the Year in Review. The newsroom staff sat down with various people in the community for one-on-one -on -one interviews. We've comp compiled these for you in this show. Enjoy. Well, from dealing with an economic recession in a city that relies on an oil and gas industry to dealing with the aftermath of a controversial contract with a former mayor, Mayor Rob Saunders was a busy man over this last year. Bart Pediasic sat down with him to discuss the year that was and what's planned for 2016. Welcome everybody. We are joined today by Mayor Rob Saunders of the City of Lloydminster. Thanks again for joining us here, Rob. You're welcome, Bart. So, Rob, let's first start off with a popular topic for this year, for better or worse, that of a controversial contract between the city and former Mayor Jeff Mulligan. That kind of came to light this year. Now, the city came out a few months ago and made a specific promise, or not a promise, but a statement saying that the way the contract was kind of set up, that was a mistake. Why was that important to make? Well, I think the uh, city recognizes that uh, our uh, active uh, policies didn't serve us in, in the best interest, so uh, we quickly have moved to develop new uh, policies around purchasing and procurement. And uh, there's uh, certain uh, details in that uh, policy development that would uh, identify uh, sole sourcing and uh, thresholds for um, making uh, contractual agreements uh, public. So we're hoping that, uh, that uh, we develop uh, best uh, policies moving forward and we're currently in the development of the purchasing uh, policy and procurement. So definitely something that's going to be an ongoing development throughout the city throughout the year. And now an interesting thing that did actually come out of this controversial contract is a, a new policy or a new event from the city, the Your Voice campaign. That actually kind of spewed from that, but that's also kind of helping the city get the take of the city or city residents. Yes, absolutely. We want to make sure that uh, through the Your Voice uh, sessions that uh, our residents have the opportunity to have their ability to comment and provide uh, content and feedback and uh, uh, input into all the uh, development of our initiatives at the City of Lloydminster. Now, the City Council wasn't only dealing with controversial contracts all year. There's a few other big developments that came in out of this year as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, many uh, different initiatives that we took on this year. Um, I think you're talking about our Transportation Infrastructure Master Plan was initiated this year and also our facilities uh, master plan was facilities. So uh, there was lots of opportunity for the public to uh, have input into those initiatives. Uh, we want to listen to the needs of our residents in our community and make sure they're, that we're uh, creating uh, sustainable plans moving forward uh, that provides the, uh, um, the assets and the infrastructure that they need to uh, have a good quality lifestyle. And now let's move on to a topic that's been on lips of many people in around this city, the economic recession right now. Last year we were looking at it with a lot of worry. This year we're actually living it right now. How's the city coping? Yeah, I think uh, like everyone else, uh, we're directly impacted by any type of uh, economic uh, change like we've seen. Uh, we have been living it in 2015 and uh, we're directly seeing that in our lot sales. And uh, so our revenue that's derived from, from the, uh, the, that initiative, um, we're seeing that directly. So uh, we have to make the necessary adjustments uh, to uh, our budget process. And uh, we just recently approved our new budget moving forward, uh, taking into consideration that uh, that revenue just uh, probably won't be there. Uh, it'll be decreased. Uh, when I look at it, uh, I look back to 2009, and uh, if we look at our numbers, uh, they'd be fairly similar, um, so we'd look uh, for a similar uh, downturn in, the, in those revenue areas. Um, but of course, uh, to move forward, we need to keep investing in our, in our underground, our utilities, and making sure that uh, uh, we have the best core services uh, that we can provide to our residents. And speaking of looking forward, 2016 is just around the corner pretty much here. What are you hoping for the next year in the city? Yeah, I think uh, what we'd like to be able to do is continue with our, our Your Voice. Uh, get the, uh, we're all in this together, so we need to make sure that uh, we're communicating together, moving forward together, and um, actually continue to be sustainable into the future. So um, it's work as usual, but I mean, we have to be prudent. We have to be looking for operational efficiencies. We need to be looking for uh, continuous improvement, and we have to be uh, innovative in creating new ways of looking at things. 
Absolutely. And my final question here, this might be a bit of a long shot, but 2016, uh, a new municipal election coming up. Can we say Rob Saunders is r running again? I can say that, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you heard it here, here first, folks. Thanks very much for joining us here, Rob. Uh, it was Rob Saunders with the City of Lloydminster. 2015 came with many changes and struggles for the city of Cold Lake. While the economy has taken a toll on several businesses, the city is still moving towards the community's long-term goals. Our Hanatita sat down with Mayor Craig Copeland to discuss some of the highlights from this year and what residents can expect in 2016. Joining me in Cold Lake City Hall is Mayor Craig Copeland. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. So Mayor Copeland, I understand you were first elected in 2007. Can you tell me how it feels to be serving your third consecutive term as mayor? Well, it feels great. You really see over your time, you know, being 10 years, uh, you get to see how the city's progressing and all the changes that you've sort of made over the years. And, uh, you know, the city's coming along real good. And uh, the deal that we brokered with the province of Alberta on the uh, ID-349, the air weapons range, has really made a difference. It's a game changer for the city of Cold Lake. So what are some of the biggest struggles the city has faced this year? Well, you know, really the, the city is doing fine. The issue is, is the economy is so so weak right now. You know, we, we were okay in the beginning of uh, 2015, but boy, you can really see how, how uh, people are getting laid off. The business businesses are down, the sales are down dramatically, hotels are, you know, vacant. And so you, it's almost like a dime. It just turned on a dime quite quickly, and that is very concerning on council. One of the reasons why we didn't raise taxes in this year's uh, for setting the taxes for 216. So there's been two major shifts in government this year, obviously the first one back in May with the uh, shift to the NDP party and then more recently with the uh, Liberal Party being the, uh, forming the uh, federal government. Can you tell me um, how the uh, political parties will impact Cold Lake and if you've seen any changes so far? Well, I think the, the provincial one with the big change with the NDP coming in, taking over, changing sort of the, the, the way Alberta is going to run in terms of the cost of producing a, a barrel of oil in our area. That's really significant. The corporate tax raising it by 20 percent is really going to impact uh, our local business and uh, the big industry players. And then the carbon, the new carbon initiative that they're doing, uh, you know, that remains to be seen how expensive that's going to be for business. But even for the municipality, we're starting to think, you know, is that going to cost us another million dollars a year? And if so, you know, you're going to download that to the taxpayers. So provincially, the, the policy shifts of the NDP government, we've seen some changes. Uh, it's a bit concerning, you know, less money that people have in the pocketbook. So that is a concern. Federally, a bit young right now. What the big key for Cold Lake is, because we're such an Air Force town, is looking for the new fighter jet. Will the Liberal government support the new fighter jet? Uh, you know, the men and women that serve in Cold Lake up here in the Air Force, they do a tremendous job. Uh, they've kept the F-18 flying for a long time, and uh, it's time that uh, we got a new jet, and I hope the Liberal government is going to be investing in that. What are some of the things that the uh, city has to look forward to in the new year? Well, we're excited. I think we're going to be, be, it's all about the kids. Um, and so we're going to be investing at the Energy Center, which is our big recreation facility in Coal Lake. So we're going to be putting on a second arena attached to the main Imperial Place arena. We're going to have a lounge between the two arenas. We're also going to do a climbing wall, which is going to be pretty cool. And then we're also going to do a mini stick hockey rink inside that second arena for the kids. And then uh, we're going to be doing a, a, two, a twin field house and uh, gymnastics and dance, all new buildings uh, at the uh, in, in Energy Center. And then the big exciting project uh, at that location is an artificial sports field. So for football, uh, for soccer, for rugby, is have the artificial turf. And so that's going to be exciting. We're also going to be doing some major road work. Uh, so Highway 28 within the city, we're going to be spending about $4 million fixing up the highway there. And a ba major underground storm sewer project of about $4 million on that highway to help drain the city of Cold Lake. So the next municipal election is in the fall of 2017. Are you planning on running again for mayor? Well, we're out, oh, halfway through the term and uh, certainly, uh, you know, I, I mean, blessed, let's just say, uh, on my time as mayor. I've had a great bunch of councillors to work with. I mean, tremendous. Uh, and I have great uh, the staff here at the City of Cold Lake are, are totally awesome. So, uh, you know, everything, uh, you know, if your health is good, uh, I'll certainly consider it, you know, more than likely throw my name in the hat again. I really enjoy, enjoy uh, being in municipal politics. I think it's the best level of politics. You get to really change uh, your, where you live and really impact the citizens. I think that uh, the provincial government could download even 
more decision making to our level. I think uh, give the give the municipal governments the the education and the health care money, and we would probably do a better job uh, operating education and health than uh, the province right now. So I think you know, uh, when I, I really enjoy the job, and uh, more than likely I'll be putting my name back in the hat in 2017. Once again, Mayor Craig Copeland, thank you so much for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming up to Coal Lake. After the break, we're heading back to school as we talk to representatives from the Lloydminster Public and Catholic School Divisions. Stay tuned.